Hello everyone, I am the Pegleg, hope you're all doing well. As you can see, my um, picture areas of the news. And uh, a lot of infighting going on and people that shouldn't be involved are involved. We have on one corner, Rory McFizz, and on the other side, Martin Leakey. Both great guys to me. Um, the racism thing, leave it alone. Just stay out of it. You know, call each other out, that's your business. Deal with it. But when it also comes and it starts affecting another group of people that really weren't involved, I've just got to say, that's sad. And those people that became involved really should have just left it to them two to sort out. I won't say who those people are. Um, obviously, if they watch my videos, they will know who I'm talking about. And God bless you. Keep up the good work. Um, I've got to say, on both sides, you know, both people are putting work. Do you know what I mean? Some might be stagnant at times, and some might not be. It doesn't matter. You're all here for the truth. And now, Rory, he's gone. He might come back. I don't know. And uh, Martin, it was a silly thing to say and do. Alright, let's move on. Put it aside, done. Um, I did want to talk about um, vintage Jazz Sinclair. He seems to have um, disappeared. Is he still making videos? I don't know. Um, I went into people I've subbed. And I've gone into his because I thought, well, I haven't seen this guy in a while, so... Let's have a look at his channel. And uh, no content. That's what it came up with. Now what's that all about guys? I don't know. A lot of strange things happening. Um, a lot of infighting. You know. you got fighting with Nathan Oakley. Martin Jazz. and Oh and um, Imaginary Curve. And whoever else. It's crazy. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I know, I'm just sitting there watching all this stuff. Unfolding. And thinking to myself, well, you're grown men and women, you know. <laughs> That's This is school yard stuff. It's pointless. All I've got to say is grow up, move on, and do the things you're supposed to be doing for your channel. For the people. Because that's essentially what it's all about. And, uh... Another person that I haven't seen anything of. I know he's changed his channel a few times. It was um, Russian Vids, then RV. Them two channels have been blocked. And uh, I don't know if he's got another one. Somewhere else under an, another pseudonym. But, yeah, I just found it really weird that these people have just, like, disappeared. Because I know, like, last year... Jess Sinclair, he was like, boom, he was in his car, you know, talking his stuff. And all of a sudden, there's no content on his um, channel. There should be untold content. So, have I missed something, people? I think I probably have. Um, due to the fact, you know, you've got to press the little bell thing. To get um, videos pop up. To say, oh, this person's done this video, so you go and watch it because it's... It's there in your face sort of thing. So you have a look and see what's going on. But since that's coming. I'm like well. A lot of people that, that used to just pop up. Don't pop up no more. So yeah. There it is. But. This this fighting is it's really got to stop. Anyway yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's got me going a bit doolardy at the moment. <laughs> um, yeah, just don't say anything racist, man. Do you know what I mean? Whether it was just, whether it was intentional or not, you know, it's just not a good thing. Anyway, at the end of the day, you're you're here to uh, settle people's questions and answers. And discuss and produce evidence to reiterate to others that the earth is actually flat. And yes, 
the earth is actually flat. So basically what I've done to myself now is put myself in the frame for these people I've talked about to uh, basically get on my shoulders and give me grief. But I'm not here for to out people or anything like that. I just thought I just wanted to say something on it because I think it's ridiculous. That's just my opinion. And at the end of the day, you are here. You are doing your thing. All of you. A lot of you do great work. I wouldn't say not I wouldn't say all of you don't do any bad work or do bad work, should I say? Because you all do good work. You're all here doing your thing. Now, I don't know about certain other people and, and their antics and if they're in it for the money and all that kind of stuff. But what I do know is this. You don't need to be fighting each other because you all claim you're flat earthers. Which means you're more enlightened than those that ain't who are still globers, right? Well, if you're enlightened... You wouldn't be dealing with any of that rubbish. What you'd be doing with is sorting out the truth from the non-truth, from the fiction. It's as simple as that. I don't mind if you monetize your channels. I've been thinking about doing it. Need a little bit of money in my pocket. Will I do it? I don't know. Probably not. But there might come a time that, you know, get a little bit of money together. Put it aside. Get my business going. And uh, that kind of stuff. But if you're monetizing, that's fine. With monetizing, there comes adverts and stuff like that. So, and there become a lot more views, obviously. And me, maybe even a lot more subs. I don't know how that thing works. I just think it's crazy. But it's also a ways and a means to an end. So respect that. You don't need to monetize, and you do need to monetize. Some people have a job where they go out and work 9 to 5. Some people make videos because they enjoy doing it. And they want to make money on top of that. Hey, fair dues, man. Fair dues. Listen, I want to say a big shout out to the Sun and Moon group. You know, I love those people. Uh, they've been getting a bit of stick recently. But, um, yeah. Keep up the good work because... You're not always stuck on one thing. You always bring people on that are diverse. And I respect that. I may not always agree with everything they say and do. But hey. They may not agree with everything I say and do. It's all part of the parcel, isn't it? Part and parcel. That's what it is. So yeah. I would say. They haven't got nothing to do with that situation between Rory and Martin. They just happened to have Martin on the channel one day. And boom. There is, and I think a lot of people are looking at Sun and Moon Group as in they're a part of it, you know, and they're not. I can 100% back that up. I shouldn't need to, but there you go. Anyway, so big hands up, thumbs up to them guys. Um, now Rory's left, by the way. He, he's he's off. Um. Can't say I know too much about um, Rory. From what I've seen of some of his videos, he seems like a really nice guy. And that's how I see it. I've always seen Martin as a nice guy too, so... It's just sad that he has to go through all this to... <laughs> uh. Anyway, so look. This is just a short video for me. Um... If anyone wants to talk, that's great. Hopefully I'll be on the Sun and Moon group sometimes this week. Not sure when. But um, yeah, at the end of it, you're here for the truth. You're here to seek the truth. I am here to seek the truth. Because we've learnt some of the truth. There, there's, there's snippets of truth out there that we've come across. And we are sharing it with each other because we all like 
get involved and look at each other's videos and stuff like that. Sometimes we may even like use some of their videos on our own videos and stuff like that. And I'm sure they won't mind because they're getting recognised out there too. And I don't mind if they share my videos or use clippets of my videos. Um, as I said, it's all part and parcel of the truth. I like to do my own videos and add people's videos in my videos. And as I said, I hope they don't mind. And if they do, I'm sorry. And I won't do it again. Just let me know in my comments. And uh, go from there. Well, yeah. I feel blessed to be in the flat earth realm. You know, to be a truther. To be a member of God's family. You know, since coming into knowing God and stuff like that, my life has progressed in, in the sense of the truth has come along in different parts of my life through the grace of God. Me asking him to reveal things to me and him revealing things to me. So it's been a beautiful thing. So yeah, please leave that in fighting alone. Just leave the fighting alone. It does not make sense. You're grown up. And you're acting like children in the school. And I'm going to say it. Stop acting like kids. He said, she said. <laughs> Who cares? What you should be doing, as I said before in this video, the truth. Put it out there. Because when the young people come along, they're watching your videos, people. And they see you infighting, you're swearing, and you're, you're saying, oh, you stabbed me in my back, I stabbed you in your back, and this, that, the other. It's... These kids ain't going to want to watch stuff like that. Because they're looking for the truth also. And that's what really gets me about this stuff. You know, you've got all this swearing. Even if you're just talking, you just swear. Why? You know, you teach your kids not to swear. And you do your best not to swear in front of them, right? I mean, it slips out on occasion. But, hey. But to have your channel knowing that a kid or children might be watching it at some point. Even if they just stumble across it. And you're just effing and blinding. No man. No. It does not make sense. Make your videos clean. Because you just, you're probably going to go, well it's my channel, I don't care. You're F you, F you, this, that. Rah, rah, rah. But you're not thinking about the kids. And what it's portraying to the kids. Because kids do come along and watch your stuff. They may not like subscribe to you or nothing. But they will come across it eventually. Because look how much flat earth material is out there now. The kid just might just type in flat. And then all this stuff comes like flat tyre. Flat earth. And then flat something else. Oh come on people. You've got to wake up. So leave the swearing alone. Leave the swearing out of it. Just talk. <laughs> You don't need to swear. Yeah, sometimes I swear, but I don't do it on my channels. I do my best not to do it on my channel. Because it doesn't make sense. Keep it clean. I know some of you got a bad habit of swearing anyway. In your real lives, probably. I had an auntie, she used to swear left, right and centre. But then she stopped. She gave her life to God and God drowned that out of her in a good way. But people, let's just leave that stuff alone. And then don't forget, the newcomers, yeah, they get into the flat earth because someone's talked to them about it. Oh, have you seen that thing on YouTube about flat earth? And they go, no, I haven't. And then they go, oh, have a look at that. And they come across someone that swears a lot in their videos. Oh, this, this guy is rubbish. He keeps swearing. I don't like that. I'm a Christian sort of person, you know, sort of reserved. You know what I mean? All that kind of stuff. So when it comes to that, it should like leave the swearing alone. Because if you don't swear, that, that person comes along and goes, Oh, that's, that was a great chat with those two people. With their hangouts and stuff like that. It was, it was nice. There was no swearing. I got to hear everything. Yeah. And I get a little more understanding out of it. Do you know what I mean? But I suppose if you're having an argument with someone, <laughs> swearing's going to pop out and... It happens. And that's fine, I suppose. But just to just swear for the sake of it, I don't think it's good. But, you know, you're all grown people. You do your own thing. And I'll leave it there. I love you guys. I think you're all awesome. 
you know, big up my chest to everyone. Big up yourselves. Keep up the good work. God bless you all. Don't forget, keep it flat. And I've been the peg leg. You know. God bless. And remember, you're feeling depressed. God will be with you if you ask him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bye for now.